Assalamu alaikum. 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 And welcome to this uh, Boy Talk uh, edition. Uh, all the previous uh, Boy Talks has been in uh, the GP house. This time we have been able to go outside. And uh, what a absolutely fantastic place to be uh, when we come to uh, staying close to the history of Bangladesh. This is the Fort Lalbag, but it's one of the big uh, Mughal uh, remembrance in this country. I hope you will uh, stay with us uh, for, for the whole program. So let's start uh, the program immediately and um, we will invite one of my guests. As you know, we are getting a new CTO in uh, Grameen Phone uh, quite soon. So I, I'd like to Anvir, uh, invite Tanvir to come up on the podium. Welcome. Thank you, Albert. Please have a seat. Thank you. Well, being in this fantastic uh, environment with uh, Lalbag Fort, would you still uh, want to go into the CTO position? It's really uh, fascinating that in the middle of Dhaka still there are some green left. But on the other hand, I think uh, the challenges of the CTO position is also quite, you know, uh, <laughs> exciting. So still I think I would like to go for that. That's good. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, how is the history of Tanvir in uh, GP? It's a long history. Yeah, actually, I, I have joined Grameen Phone uh, quite a long time ago. I've been with Grameen Phone almost since the inception. If I remember correctly, I think I joined on the August 9th, 1997. So my initial uh, phase with Grameen Phone was very much into the building because I was actively working in the rollouts. How was that? Was, uh, how many were you at that point in time? Uh, how many people? When I joined Grameen Phone, uh, I think in the civil works, I was the second person to join. But actually, it has been a fantastic growth, Urbar. Actually, the, actually, when I look back, the biggest pride or the biggest thing which I think that I can take with me is actually to, to be able to see the growth of Grameen Phone, at the same time, the growth of the organization, and also, you know, last but not the least, the growth about me also. The initial parts were very much into the building of the network. We started expanding the network. I just want to share one small thing. If we remember that when we started, you know, we, because since the interconnection with the fixed network become very difficult, mm -hmm. we had to launch this mobile to mobile thing. Yeah. At the start, people were thinking that it is only a walkie-talkie kind of thing. And we started expanding. If, if you stop there a little bit, I don't know if you all know that, but this mobile to mobile was really an innovation made by Grameen Phone. This idea was taken to a lot of other companies throughout the world. Uh, so, so in fact, you could say that Grameen Phone became uh, world known, renowned at already at that time. So uh, after that, actually, after spending around uh, seven to eight years in rollout, one fine day, actually, I got an opportunity to work in operation. Once I went in there, I again found that there are actually quite a lot of things to deliver there. Yeah. Because we created a huge network, but then actually we started realizing that it's not only about building, but it's also about how you are running the show. And, and, uh, and talking about that, now we are moving from that uh, position. You have become the deputy CTO a couple of years back. And now we're going even further. What do you see now as the main challenges for uh, the, the technology division to going forward? Uh, actually, the way I see, the market is getting very, very competitive. Grameen Phone has to really offer the right kind of product and solution at the right time with the right kind of pricing. And technology, the way I see, has got a huge role to play there. We have to be agile so that we can really support commercial division, we can really support Grameen Phone so that we can really you know, act to the real need of the market in the quickest possible time. And from technology, I think we have a great opportunity to play a role there mm -hmm. to further optimize our CAPEX and OPEX heads. Mm -hmm. So I think that will continue to be a challenge for us. And last but not the least, I think all of us know that uh, quality has been the positioning tool of Grameen Phone. Despite all these in efficiency initiatives, we should not be losing our focus from the quality. Talking about uh, the quality, um, from time to time I also hear from uh, the technology guys that, um, well, you, how many here is from commercial? One hand up. Oh, not that many. What do you think of, of commercial these days? What I, what I have seen in the last you know, few weeks that I think the communication has really improved and we have started working more closely together. Mm. Because, you know, how commercial is selling products and solution? That is totally dependent upon the network or the platform we are building. 
unless and until there is good kind of handshake. Do you give them a plus? I, I, I definitely think yeah, so. That's good for all of you that's here. That he gives you a plus. Um, uh, going forward then there are, there are some um, big things coming up. Um, hopefully we'll have 3G license next year. Uh, so um, uh, how do you now prepare in technology to, to be able to take that uh, challenge? Mm, uh, actually we are looking forward towards uh, the broadband. It can be the mobile broadband, it can be the fixed broadband also you know, quite uh, eagerly. I think when, when we are talking about mobile broadband, it is about the data capacity. So there will be one big challenge, actually the last mile solutions towards the base station, whether we have sufficient bandwidth there or not. At this moment, actually we don't have. So we are actually really preparing ourselves so that, you know, all the transmission issues are already taken care of. And on top of that, I think we'll also be modernize the network in the, in the, uh, targeted areas uh, beforehand so that as soon as the license is there, we can be the first to launch. So our, from technology, we have a target that if there is a 3G license, Grameen Phone definitely will be the first operator to launch it in the, in the best kind of way. So you promise that? I, I definitely okay, promise Okay, you that. can give it a hand on that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, going green is uh, something we've talked a lot about. So, so what do you see that as a future for, for our green uh, part of the, of the technology? development? Um, uh, actually in Grameen Phone, technology is one of the biggest producer of carbon dioxide. How? Because we, we run a lot of base stations, we run a lot of technical nodes which consumes a huge amount of electricity. And to, to produce the electricity, either we are getting the power from the national grid or we are doing it by running the generators. So our one of the target is to really reduce the power consumption. Last year we, we installed around 12 uh, solar powered base stations which are running quite fine. At this moment we have around 180 locations where there is no power connection. So we are targeting whether we can run those also with, with solar. And if it is successful then eventually we will make the footprint even, even bigger. One last thing on the, the development. Uh, we, we also are now going into wholesale business. Uh, we take our previous competitors and we are, uh, all make, uh, we are meeting them as customers. Um, is this something that is liked in the technology yeah. division or do you, the, the people really uh, think that, well, now we are getting too close to our competitors? We, we could realize that actually this is a tremendous business potential. Mm. So only the first mover will get this mm. advantage. So actually what we have done, we have geared up our organization quite uh, strongly so that we can really help wholesale organization in the best possible way. Yeah. I think this is good and we see, uh, uh, as uh, you're saying, a huge potential going forward over the next, uh, let's say, two to three, four, five years to get a, a very substantial revenue also from this side. Last question then, looking around the Dhaka city uh, and also of, uh, around the Lalbagh fort, all over you can see flags because of the World Cup. So uh, what's your favorite team? <laughs> Actually, uh, my uh, f uh, favorite team is a little traditional. I, actually, I am with Brazil. <laughs> but at the same time, this time I would be going for one of the African countries also. So now I know that you go for some international meetings in, in technology. So I wish you all the, the luck and uh, look forward to seeing you in the management team from uh, July 1st. Thank, thank, you, you, thank, you, thank, you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. As you all know, we have uh, just finished our AGM. Uh, how many of you here are uh, shareholders? A hand up. Okay, looks very good. Um, are you satisfied so far with your company? I didn't hear you. G. 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 Thank you. Um, this was a, um, the AGM itself was quite an experience uh, with 110,000 shareholders. Uh, usually 50-60% turns out, so that could be like 60,000 people. So uh, what do we do? Well, we knew that in many cases people are getting food. And to serve food to 60,000 people, uh, that's absolutely not possible. So um, we decided no food. And the second thing was to not give a gift. And according to the SEC rules, we are not allowed to give gifts. So in a way we are compliant and we told this in the newspapers and that's the reason I guess that we only had a turnout of 6,000 people. 
uh, all that was proposed by the board was uh, was approved um, and now we can go forward and building this co uh, company even more stronger and I'm sure we will we will have a great uh, future uh, we will have a great second quarter we will we have the great uh, year in 2010 and I'm sure you all uh, are with me in that that we should be number one as long as we live thank you then